right, so I got these uh, distributor. I'm working on a 1972-1150. I was getting a no spark. I verified that the switch box and the coil were good. I tried turning the key. I got no spark on. What I'm thinking there's a bad, a bad trigger in here. So today I do have a uh, backup for the backup right here and I'm going to test this trigger and I'm going to show you guys how to test the trigger on the uh, distributor models up to 1978. Alright so the first thing you want to do is connect the distributor to the switch box. You want to make sure that the brown and white you don't get them mixed up because after a couple years they can get a little difficult to distinguish and then of course the black right here. Alright so the next thing we're going to do is make sure that the box is properly grounded so I have the coil grounded to the box and then the box is grounded to the negative terminal and then the distributor I connected this wire which runs all the way into the negative so basically everything is grounded so the distributor is grounded the box is grounded and then of course I have the spark tester coming right here into the ground okay so now I got the, uh, the coil wire set up here the black terminal which some boxes is going to be green to match it and then i jumpered the white and the red here so now with everything grounded you want to make sure everything is grounded i got the this is grounded the box is grounded the coil is grounded and the spark is grounded right here so now i got this cable connected to the positive terminal i'm going to power up the switch box so now the switch box is powered up so if the trigger works in this distributor, as I rotate this, the spark should happen right there. And it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. <laughs> all right, so I'm over here in bad trigger land here. Uh, first one was pretty embarrassing. This is the unit I pulled out. Uh, triggers failed. This is one I was hoping would pass. This is the backup for the backup. So now we are on the backup to the backup to the backup. I went ahead and hooked everything up and tested it, so it wouldn't look like a full-on camera again. So let me go ahead and power it up. Okay, and we're just testing to make sure. Yep. And every time you rotate this, it should spark. Let me turn off the lights. All right. Oh, you can see it. You can definitely hear it a lot better. So I got a good trigger, a good trigger in here. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.